Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the status report highlight for the 28th of November 2017. There'll be no DayZ 0.63 build this year, so let's kick straight in and find out why. <laughs> oh, God. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's kick things off with Brian. The last few months of DayZ has included a lot of review meetings, both technical and gameplay design related, and now it's come that time where we have some solid information to share with you all on the upcoming 0.63 experimental and stable updates, where we are with it, what we're looking at it being, and in short, to offer some clear transparency to you all, looking at it forwards. Some of this information might be frustrating to read or listen to, and some of it might get your own internal hype train running. The important thing from the information we will be laying out today is that you all understand where we are with the move away from Legacy DayZ and why we've made the decisions we have. That said, I'll let Eugen take it away and guide you all through what we're looking at. Hello everyone, being candid is the core of the relationship we have as a studio with you, our community. That includes openly talking about things that we know will cause a lot of disappointment and negative feelings. I'll start right off the bat with one such thing. Unfortunately, there will be no other major releases this year. That means we won't be releasing 0.63 on either experimental and stable branches. Large chunks of the core gameplay loop are just now getting more settled, but there are still core features that are heavily work in progress, not implemented. For example, vaulting, swimming and vehicles. And unfortunately, that means that despite all the progress we've made on the other parts of the game, this is still not enough for a potential experimental release. We do understand that all you guys want to play is 0.63. And while it would be possible to have some experimental 0.63 release this year that would be relatively stable and enjoyable for a short period of time, just releasing something is not a viable approach this time around. But 0.63 experimental and 0.63 stable equals beta are key releases for us, as they are the last steps before we leave early access. And since it's so important, we have a set of so-called epic goals that are implemented into everything we're making for the game in the new engine. These goals are performance, stability, control, and balance. We want to avoid any issues from lack of oversight in development or project architecture. For example, we just want to make sure that our infected numbers and player numbers per server are as high as possible, and both DAISY client and server apps maintaining good, reliable uptime. To get a better understanding of what still needs to be done on our end before we can push the first 0.63 experimental, read through this bullet point overview of our focus areas. All of the listed features are in different stages of development, and a team or person dedicated to its completion. These are the features we want to see finalized before experimental release. And oh my god, there's quite a few. Totally understandable why we've got to wait a little bit longer for that 0.63 experimental release. A little bit bummed we're not going to get it this year, as of course I know a lot of you are also. But this list obviously tells a lot of stories, and if they want us to have experimental 0.63 enjoyable, and for a longer period of time before we may get bored, obviously if they release it now it will have very little features. Yes, new features, something that will get us excited and the feel for what 6.3 is going to be all about and onwards. It's better to wait that little bit longer so we get a full-fleshed experimental build to test out with and enjoy for a longer period of time. At least until we get another experimental build. And now, back to Eugen. I know the tone may be a bit grim, but from my personal experience as a gamer with DayZ, it's very hard to go back to 0.62 once you play an even broken internal version. There is a promise of many good things to come, lots of things to look forward to for the first experimental release. Even if you look at the missing pieces above that will be there, there is just so much to explore. And now I shall read you a list. New crafting, new central economy, new zombies, new animals, completely revamped ranged combat, with much more manual control, completely revamped melee combat, with combos and evading mechanics. A lot more strategy, new and quite significant map changes, diseases that mix things up, ooh, Kuru, injuries that change your movement, new movement and stealth, redefined spawns, new damage system and hit zones for both players and animals, new visuals for particles or blood, amazing new animation system that makes everything so freaking smooth. Remade buildings. Oh, no more glitching inside the ATCs and the camo building. Bring it on. More players per server. More zombies per server. Much less network issues. Stability. And so, much more. Oh yeah, boys. That's actually a really good list. To be honest, you know, guys, take your time. Release it maybe January. I don't know. You know, I'll give you an extra month. 
That sounds too good. During the time between the release of 0.63 Experimental to the release of 0.63 Stable PC Beta, we will add a couple more features that are missing from the list above, namely vehicles, helicopters, and base building. We'll also keep adding weapons to get our 0.62 standards. Of course, as always been mentioned, 0.63 must meet parity with 0.62 currently. There are specific gameplay elements that we have talked about previously, for example melee with ranged weapons, or climbing over obstacles that are quite complicated, and are generally part of the overall vision, so we might be experimenting with those during the time between the first experimental and beta. For the PC beta, again, that's the first 0.63 staple update, and any 0.63 patches between that and 1.0. There's no 0.64 or 0.65 planned. We've set pretty clear feature and content goals. We're ready to share them now. Let's start with features. Huge list incoming. If you remember our 2015 roadmap, you probably think some features are missing. Taking a quick look at our goals for 2015, when we originally wanted to reach beta, that's correct. In order to not further hinder our plans for functional core gameplay loop in beta, we decided that some of those features will be added later in a form of free platform updates after 1.0. Vehicle modification, barricading, birds, aerial transport, specifically planes, bikes and motorbikes. This decision to move some features after 1.0 surely deserves a detailed explanation, so let's go point by point. With vehicles, we are absolutely certain that we want to eventually offer more variety in them, but a system of modifications to vehicles adds additional layer of complexity to the entire vehicle's feature, and it would only further limit the amount of vehicles we would be able to release initially with beta. Barricading is dependent on a large piece of underlying code that we originally intended to have available much sooner. And so, in order to progress further, we had to make a decision whether to initially support barricading or base building. And base building won the contest as the more interesting option for beta. Obviously, by barricading, we would hopefully be able to barricade certain houses, hopefully not too many, and sealing off those houses to others looting, just being general trolls. But it's a good idea nonetheless, and I'd look forward to barricading when it arrives. When it comes to aerial transport, we do want to have helicopters in before 1.0, but making planes accessible would mean a lot of extra time in development, slowing down what everybody wants the most, and that is to play Daisy Beta. Planes will be making their way into Daisy, but not with Beta slash 1.0. Then, everybody's favorite, bikes and motorbikes. We've said that before, but sadly, as weird as it may sound to a person not involved in game dev, creating single track vehicles properly takes a massive amount of animation and programming work that we want to invest into other parts of the game for Beta such as achieving overall polish of features like the character movement, double-track vehicles, or user actions. One thing I almost completely forgot to add to the status report highlight is, the only feature we've decided to cut completely from our original 2015 feature list are animal companions. The plan was simply way too ambitious. We don't have the tech to create that feature to a certain quality degree now, and we don't see having that tech in a near future. This, of course, is going to be a huge bummer for a lot of you out there, and I mean a lot of you, that were looking forward to Animal Companions, not just having to worry about all your precious gear to lose, but also your little companion. Eh, maybe it'll come back later in development, after 1.0, or maybe modders. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But don't fear, bears are still on the table for implementation sometime during development. So, you better not go down to the woods in 1.0. Jesus Christ, what am I doing with my life? Rest assured, Daisy is not a done deal after Beta and 1.0. As mentioned above, Daisy is a game and a platform, and we intend on keeping Daisy alive for as long as it is viable. Take a look at our Armor 3 example. Splendid four years of post launch development and support. We also have some fantastic opportunities ready for the modding community. As soon as the PC Beta is headed in a way we like, we're still committed to bringing Daisy to Xbox. You know, I better be because I bought an Xbox just for that where we have a large community of gamers patiently, very patiently, waiting for a truly hardcore online survival game. All of that will and must happen next year, meaning we're just about to start what could possibly be the most exciting year for Daisy so far. 
In short, DAISY will be out of early access next year and will also finally deliver it to console players in 2018. Make no mistake, this commitment is done taking all of our previous scheduling mistakes into account. We're serious about it. Well, y you gotta be, because it's either achieve this or achieve it. There's no, there's no other option. Uh, it's been said, ladies and gentlemen, but I have full, full faith in the dev team. And I know once 6.3 hits that experimental slash stable, those updates will increase in delivery speed. And uh, we'll, we'll be making a, a full-on stride towards 1.0. Let me tell you about it. So in summary and conclusion, 2018 is going to be an important year for us in the studio, as our long-term work finally makes its way out there. We sure take our time, but I truly believe that people only remember great games, and not how long it took to make them. I hope that despite the somewhat disappointing nature of this status report, in terms of not having another major release this year, I don't know, we could have done with some screenshots too, wink wink, you know what I'm saying? We still managed to hold on to the support from the most dedicated among you. We'd love to follow up with an open Q&A on our forums, where I and the community team will do our best to answer your questions regarding any specific features or content. Before the end of the year, we'll also provide a video summary of this text. Oh, Jesus Christ, I spoke too soon, look at this! With some further details and footage from 0.63. Are oh, you bloody legends. Looking forward to that now. Thank you for staying with us, survivors. We're almost there. After all the excruciating wait and all the tests of patience, there are some really good times ahead of us. In beta, we trust. And that is all for the status report highlight for the 28th of November, 2017. The team were up late getting this out on the 28th. I, unfortunately, fell asleep uh, just before it came, came out because I'm, I'm an old man. Uh, I delivered it to you as quickly as I possibly could after the status report. Get, get on it. Of course, as always, read the status report in full yourselves all that juicy information because I may have skipped a couple bits because there's a lot there um, but I didn't leave out any important stuff so you should be good but always go check yourselves as I always say leave a like if you enjoy the video that I make and thank you for subscribing and I'll see you peeps in 0.63 in 2018 because it's not it's not coming out this year